Hello and welcome to Maker Hanger. My name is Lucas Weekly, and today we're going to be talking about RC flight simulators. These let you fly your plane even before you go out and actually fly it. This is very important because when you first start out, you are going to crash. And every time you crash on the computer, that's one less time that you would crash in real life and possibly have to repair your plane. RC planes are more difficult to fly because you are on the ground at a third person perspective instead of being in the plane as if you were flying it. Being on the ground is more difficult because when the plane turns towards you, now your turning controls are reversed. You use the flight simulator all the way up to the point where turning the plane becomes muscle memory and you don't even have to think about where to put the sticks. Knowing how to fly even before you actually go out and do it helps with the stress as well when you go to take your maiden flight. There's a couple types of flight simulators that you can get, so let's check those out. The most ideal setup is having your computer hook up to the controller that you'll be flying with. This allows you to practice with your own controller and get a feel for when you actually fly. For example, Phoenix RC, coming from Horizon Hobbies, is my favorite RC simulator. Not only is it a tool to learn how to do basic flying, but it also has a huge library of airplanes and other vehicles that you can choose from. It also offers a couple training games to teach you how to take off and land, and also how to do some acrobatics, as well as some bomb dropping. This one is on the expensive side of flight simulators. It's about $100, and you have to supply your own transmitter with a Spectrum-compatible trainer port. Now, to my knowledge, there are very few flight simulators that are compatible with the Orange T6. This is one of the downsides of having a very cheap Chinese radio. But there are a couple other options that you can follow. The second type of simulator is one that goes on your computer, and then the program comes with a USB transmitter. The transmitter that comes with the kit is just like your transmitter, except for instead of having an antenna, there's a USB cable in its place to plug into your computer. There are a bunch of these on the market, and the cheapest is one that Hobby King sells for only $15. This one will just help you learn the direction of your airplane when you're flying it, which is the most important thing to learn from an RC simulator. Now, I don't have this simulator, and I haven't tested it out, but looking from the reviews online, it looks like a great value for the price. There are a couple iPhone and Android simulators with the same control layout as an RC transmitter, such as Absolute Sim and RC Air Sim. This third option should only be taken if you can't find a simulator like the two we talked about before. You won't be able to practice with real sticks. This might make it difficult when you go out to do your first flight, but it'll still teach you the movement of the controls to make the plane fly. Also, the physics in them are pretty good and the planes that they have fly pretty much the same as they do in real life. The fourth kind of simulator and the one that you're gonna to wanna to avoid is a computer or an iPhone app that uses a joystick or the keyboard to control the plane. This will not help you learn the controls for an RC transmitter. All you're doing is playing a game that won't help you learn how to fly a real plane with an RC transmitter. All the links to the simulators that we talked about are in the description below. Okay, so once you have your flight simulator, you need to do a couple of things. First, you're gonna look for a trainer. This is like a high wing plane with the motor in the front, or you can look for something like the Maker Trainer. You're gonna practice taking off and landing in a straight line. This will help you practice your elevator and throttle controls. Once you know this, it'll make it easier to maintain sustained flight when you start making turns. Once you've pretty much mastered this, move on to making turns. Make sure you're at a safe altitude, then bank the plane using your ailerons, pull up with your elevator to maintain your altitude, and then level off when you've completed the turn. Once you've done that for a while, try to combine all these maneuvers. Take off the plane, circle it around a couple times, and then bring it in for a landing. This is what you're gonna be doing in real life. Practice makes perfect, and don't get discouraged, it does take a while to learn how to fly RC. Just remember, it's better to crash here than in real life. Once you've mastered this in the computer, then you're ready to do this for your first real flight. That's it for this episode. Next time, I'm gonna show you how to fly the Maker Trainer. We're gonna go over the pre-flight checks as well as how to do your first flight. So I'll see you then. Thanks for watching.